Uh, over on SmackDown, the show was built around a kidnapping angle with uh, Joey Giovanni and Big Show, Kurt Angle, and JBL's cabinet. This is a hilarious skit that you and I have had the pleasure of hearing JBL describe in great detail in some of our live shows uh, available over at adfreeshows.com. Can you sort of recap and tell everybody about the silliness of these darts you're trying to use on Big Show? This is fun stuff, is it not? Well, how the hell else are you going to slow a buffalo down? <laughs> you got to have like a blow gun, dart gun to, to tranquilize them. To a man that size, you're just not going to be able to give a couple of cc's of volume and calm him down. You need a dart gun. You need a, you need technology that will stuff a buffalo or stop a buffalo. You could stuff a buffalo like that too, but who knows? Oh my gosh, how silly is. It's just fun. You know, the idea that we're you, I mean, I love that we get to be that creative and that silly and that fun. And I know big show had to have fun with this. I'm sure JBL did. It feels like Kurt would have hammed it up. What do you think joy thought of these skits? You know, joy was just so happy to have a job at that point. I think that, um, she look joy was still very new to the business yeah, and not really understanding everything that went on, but joy showed up and, and was willing to go through whatever it was we asked her to go through. So she was a very, very nice young lady. I get it. Uh, SmackDown is based around Kurt angle, having to apologize for kidnapping or else he wouldn't be allowed the title match at the Royal rumble. So let that be a lesson to you folks. If you kidnap somebody, just say you're sorry. And then you still got a shot at the title. Uh, JBL well, and Sh go ahead. How long are you going to hold the grudge? Well, that's a fair question. All right. I'm sorry. Um, JBL and show come together because of what angle did and how it was so wrong. But of course, at the end of the show, JBL turned on show and it was a massive heel beat down that left big show bloody. And there's not a lot of heat here. Uh, it is a big angle and it seems weird that the audience, do you think at this point, Perhaps the big show had been good guy, bad guy, good, good guy, bad. It just flip flopped so much that fans were starting to tune out a little bit and it was hard to, or is it just hard to have a sympathetic baby face when you're damn a giant? I think it's hard to feel any sympathy for a seven foot giant. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.